Hello guys, recently Taylor Otwell released a plugin for Cloud Code for Laravel simplification. And this was a port of the original Code Simplifier plugin by Boris from Cloud Code, which I reviewed separately on my other channel, AI Coding Daily. I will link that in the description below. And I decided to try out Taylor's version. If we take a look at the documentation, this is Laravel Cloud Code repository, by the way, so expect something more happening here, I guess, in the future. But Laravel Simplifier is for simplifying, like, for example, your last commit or last pull request. Basically, after the installation, the usage is this. The prompt, review recent changes. And for that, I have a small change for review. So I recently was experimenting with a small crud of bookmark manager links for Livewire Starter Kit. So this is the list of files that were generated in this case by Opus 4.5 in Cloud Code for that crud of links. And let's try Laravel Simplifier to review that commit. So I have already installed the plugin behind the scenes in Cloud Code, and I will just prompt. So this will be my prompt. I'm just trying to be more specific changes from last commit, and let's see what happens. First, will Cloud Code identify the agent? Error agent type not found, but probably it will find by full name. So yeah, Laravel Simplifier is the prefix as well. So yeah, it is using the agent, then it's taking the changes from the last commit, and it seems like it's done in one minute and three seconds. So what are the suggested improvements? Code review complete, issues to address, missing return types on render methods in Livewire components, valid, validation rule improvement, in edit PHP, the unique validation uses string concatenation. Oh, this is the code. Well, yeah, rule ignore is much more readable. I agree with that. Then delete method could fail silently. This is interesting. By the way, I haven't even seen that code myself. It was just generated by Opus 4.5. So before my manual review, I decided to give the first try with simplifier. And yes, I found the code that was mentioned by simplifier. I agree that this find and delete is not really clean. It should be find or fail. I agree with this comment. So yeah, suggested improvements. Consider using also this only and also good practices noted. Proper fillable. Factory uses fake correctly. So it's also praising the good things. Would you like me to apply these improvements? Cloud Code recently introduced a feature of suggesting the next prompt. So all I need to do is hit enter because yes, apply those improvements is already pre-filled for me. So let's take a look what exactly it will do in the end. What improvements? And while it's doing that, I will explain what is actually happening behind the scenes in that plugin. So Laravel Simplifier, if you go to GitHub, this is free on GitHub, open source. We can go to agents and we have markdown file with set of instructions. And this is exactly what is happening under the hood when I launch that agent called Laravel Simplifier. So you are an expert code simplification specialist, preserve functionality, this is important, then apply Laravel standards from Cloud MD, which is generated by Laravel Boost, and then also enhance clarity, maintain balance, so pretty detailed prompt, but at the same time, pretty broad in how it may be applied. If we compare that to the original code simplifier from Anthropic released by Boris, this is pretty similar, but this one is mostly geared towards JavaScript and React. So use ES models, follow proper React component patterns, and a few more places are about JavaScript. So this is why Taylor's port to Laravel is important because it adds Laravel standards, PSR 12, and others. Meanwhile, Cloud Code cooked for 58 seconds. That was pretty fast. And let's take a look at the changes in the Livewire components in this case. View is added probably as a return type. Yes, that's correct. Instead of listing the fields, we use this only a bit shorter. This is partially in the name simplifier. Then in the edit, it implemented exactly what it meant, rule unique, and also applied array instead of string concatenation in the validation rule set. Same this only here and same view here. And probably something similar in the index. So view here and find or fail. To be honest, I would probably get that into separate lines, find or fail first and then delete if that exists, but this is the change suggested by Simplifier. 
So yeah, I think it's a very good new feature plugin to Cloud Code. And also on top of that, pushback from core Laravel team ported this to Boost. So you can use that with other agents. So this is the pull request which contains Cloud Code cursor and open code for the same agent. So yeah, it's not only Cloud Code. What do you guys think? What would you add to those rules? Probably you can create a pull request and Taylor would review or what other tools or plugins you use for reviewing Laravel code generated by AI. Laravel Boost is great with its guidelines and search docs and MCP tools, but reviewing the code is actually a separate challenge. So let's discuss how you do that or how you envision we will do that in the future. And if you want to see more of my experiments about AI coding with Laravel, but not necessarily, I have a channel AI Coding Daily on YouTube. And also just recently, I launched a website, AICodingDaily.com. It will contain my tutorials and also latest tweets and Reddit posts about AI coding that I find interesting, important, and worth sharing. Because I see there's a lot of information about AI coding, about cloud code, cursor, LLMs, and stuff, and it's very hard to see what is really important and not feel overwhelmed. So I hope this website will help you with that. And I hope by the time this video airs, I will launch somewhere here the subscription form so you will get a chance to subscribe to a newsletter and receive weekly digest of what is happening in the AI coding world with Laravel and outside of it. So yeah, the link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.